I'm going to read uh, Nahum from the Old Testament. It's a prophetic book. Uh, the reason why is because it's talking about Nineveh. And being that it's prophetic and it's talking about Nineveh. Nineveh is located in the Mosul area in our time. And um, as you read Nahum, it sounds like, you know, that sounds like it's talking about ISIS and, <laughs> and Kurds and, and uh, problems with uh, what's taking place in, in Mosul right now. So I'll read it and see what you think here, okay? All right, Nahum. And I thought I'd use the King James Version because the King James Version just uh, it sounds better to me when it comes to this prophetic stunning thing, you know. All right. The Burden of Nineveh, the Book of the Vision of Nahum, the Echoloshite, the Elkoshite. God is jealous, and the Lord revengeth. The Lord revengeth and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries, and he reserveth wrath for his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord hath his way in the whirlwind and the storm. In other words, God is in control of the world and it sounds like to me. So when a tornado destroys your house, God did it, apparently. Yeah. For the clouds are the dust of his feet. He rebuketh the sea, and maketh, maketh it dry. He drieth up all the rivers. Bashan languished, and Carmel, and the flower of Lebanon languisheth. The mountains quake at him, and the hills melt, and the earth is turned at his presence. Yea, the world. Earth is uh, burned at his presence. Yea, the world, and all that dwell therein. God's kind of like a... In other words, it sounds like God has his way in the atom bomb, or... Or mega or hydrogen bomb too. Who can stand before his indignation, and who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire, the rocks are thrown down by him. The Lord is good. <laughs> the Lord is good. Uh, a stronghold in the day of trouble, tribulation, and he knoweth them that trust in him. But with an overrunning overrun flood, he will make an utter end of the place thereof, and darkness shall pursue his enemies. What do you imagine against? What do you imagine against the Lord? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up the second time. I wonder what the first time was. Anyway, for while they are well, while they be full together as thorns and while they are drunken as drunkards they shall be devoured as stubble fully dry there is one that cometh out of thee that imagine evil against the Lord a wicked counselor take a pick of what you think the wicked counselor is thus saith the Lord though thou though thou though they be quiet and likewise many yet thus shall they be cut down Thus they shall be cut down. Yet they yet thus they shall be cut down. When he shall pass through, and I think what he's passing through is passing through uh, the Middle East, the Holy Land, Iraq, and uh, uh, Syria and stuff like that. Though I have afflicted thee, I will afflict thee no more. For now I will break his yoke from off of thee. Who's that yoke? Whose yoke is he talking about? In our time, it could be the yoke of Islam. And will burst their bonds in sunder. Could be ISIS here. And the Lord, and the Lord hath given a commandment concerning thee, thou know that that no more of thy name be sown. Out of the house of thy gods will I cut off the graven image and the molten image. And I will make thy grave. I will make thy grave, for thou art vile. Behold, upon the mountains, the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publish, publisheth peace. O Judah, and Judah is the Jews, 
Keep thy solemn feasts, perform thy vows, for the wicked shall no more pass through thee. He is, he is utterly cut off. Well, we'll see here. Okay. Now that could be in the past. could be because it's talking about feasts and stuff. Or we'll see here. Okay, and this is chapter 2. He that dashes the pe dashes in pieces. Oh, by the way, what, how many? Let's see here. I'm gonna have to check and see. I could be. Okay, I gotta. I've gotta get this thing set, or it's gonna go past the time here. All right. All right. Here, continue here. <clears throat> he that dashes some pieces has come up before thy face. Keep the munition. Watch the way. Make thy, lo thy lo light loins strong. Fortify thy power mightily. For the Lord hath turned away the excellency of Jacob. I think that's Israel. As excellency of Israel. Yeah, as, uh, for the emptiers have emptied them out and marred their vine branches. The shield of his mighty men is made red. And right now what's happening in uh, Mosul is that they are using even little kids as human shields. You know, all this uh, uh, Muslim saying of uh, you love life while we, we love death. Just words. They're cowards. They're hiding behind women and children. And they're using them as shields. And it says here they'll become red. Uh, the shield of the mighty men, the, the shield of his, might, of his mighty men is made red. The valiant men are in scarlet. And you know something? I've seen them put red flags on the tanks that are going into the Mosul area so we don't bomb them. And a tank is a type of shield. The chariot shall be with flaming torches in the day of his preparation. And the, fear tr the fir tree shall be terribly shaken. When those bombs go off, it shakes the fir tree. The chariots shall rage in the streets. They shall jostle, once jostle, jostle one against another in the broadways. They shall, seem, they shall seem like torches. They shall run like the lightnings. That's because they're going to be cars. That's what I'm thinking. All right. He shall recount his worthies. They shall tr stumble in their walk. They shall make haste to the wall thereof. And the defense shall be prepared. The gates of the rivers shall be opened, and the palace shall be dissolved, and Huz Huzab shall be led away captive, and shall be brought, and she and, and she shall be brought up, and her maids shall be shall lead her as with the voice of doves, tabering upon their breasts. But Nineveh is of old, like a pool of water. They shall flee away. Stand, stand, shall they cry, but none shall look back. And right now, ISIS is trying to get the heck out of Mosul. Uh, they say it's like a pond that is leaking away. Yeah, because they're trying to get out of there. They don't, they, they, all that, uh, apparently they're starting to think, oh, you know, I don't know if I'm going to get little children to have sex with. I mean, I mean virgins, if I die, killing for Allah after all. If I die, yeah. Okay. But Nineveh is of old, like a pull of water. Uh, better stop it here.